InfoWriter is a powerful visual diagramming tool. It addresses the Common Core state standards by organizing ideas into broad categories and developing a topic with relevant supporting evidence. It also helps students to revise their work. InfoWriter doesn't just make students better writers, they become better thinkers. By using powerful ideas about thinking like concept, definition, and evidence, students are able to understand and explain what makes great writing. Hi, I'm Shelby, and today I'm working on my science assignment about the American alligator. I've already written my first draft using the rubric to guide me, but before I submit for peer review, I need to finish mapping out my report in InfoWriter. I've done some work already. You can see that I have a definition and a preview, and I cover five main concepts. The American alligator, its appearance, its behavior, habitat loss, and climate change. I've linked each concept and provided some definitions with examples and evidence. I use the arrows to trace a thread from the concepts in the introduction, to the evidence in the body, and then to the conclusion. This helps me to organize my thinking and write in a logical order. In the last concept, I have a good example, but I think I could develop it with more evidence. Maybe I can find a quote or some statistics that show how much of the alligator's habitat has been taken over. I'll write myself a comment to include this when I revise my work. They physically have to find um, what they're looking for inside the, the piece of writing. Um, if you had a student use this paper pencil, they would look at it and they would say, oh, it's there, and then they would move on. For the info writer, they, they have to definitely find the evidence, um, they have to find the ideas, and they have to interactively um, show the pieces um, within InfoWriter. I highlighted and I finished my entire thing and I would connect the arrows to all the different boxes of literary elements and I would read to make sure it all flowed together and made sense and so if I noticed something didn't make sense there was another tab straight within InfoWriter I could go back into my text and fix it and I could edit it as I go along. I did ask some students how they felt about InfoWriter and I got a really positive um, reviews and, and feedback. Um, the students said it really made them think about their writing and I could see them thinking as they were using it. Yeah, I know it helped me because I realized after I did this and made this flow chart that I needed to add a couple more things to my writing before I did my final draft and it really helps us to organize our writing and it would show us maybe we need a little bit more evidence or a better conclusion to it and it really helped to flow our writing and organize it. I really expected them to be a little bit apprehensive and, and worried about how they went about it but they really haven't. Um, they just kind of took to it. They, they like the idea of just clicking on things and, and starting to make connections. It's a, it was almost like drawing, I think, it, you know, like it was almost play, but it was, it was productive play for the kids to work with their writing. InfoWriter has an event timeline. This records the path students take as they create their concept maps. See how the bar at the top shows the order that Shelby followed as she mapped out her writing? It shows her thinking as she uses InfoWriter, and how well she understands the structure of an information report. Scholar and InfoWriter are brought to you by a team of world-leading literacy educators and educational technology developers at the University of Illinois and Common Ground Publishing. Scholar and InfoWriter work on any computer with an internet connection and a recent browser. No installation needed. Scholar and InfoWriter support learners to achieve the Common Core standards and give teachers tools to transform learning in their classrooms.